Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at the difference between dependencies and dev dependencies in your package.json. Uh, before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe button below, change the alert icon to all, and you'll get updates for future videos. Uh, right, so we're going to have a look, at, uh, create a very basic npm package, and then look at it from the different perspectives of someone who wants to use that package uh, in an application of their own, um, and then also from um, a developer who wants to say extend that package uh, and enhance it. So there's two there's two different users potentially of your package and that's where this dependencies and dev dependencies kind of helps to tailor those experiences and keep them efficient. Um, so let's let's jump in and have a look. Um, so uh, let me go into here. So we'll create our package first. Let's let's create a package. Um, okay, CD package. And we can create a, an npm project which will give us a package.json by doing npm init minus y, which gives us some defaults there. Right, so if I open this up in Visual Studio Code, what do we get? Um, here's our package.json. Let me move here. It's got quite a few fields already. We're not going to go into those today. We're looking at dependencies and dev dependencies, which don't appear at the moment. Um, so, as an author of a package, I would probably, almost certainly, be depending on other packages to help me provide, you know, some functionality. So for this example, I'm going to use uh, lit element. Um, now, I, I to install that to set, so that I can use it, we would come back in here and just do npm install i for short, and then the package name, which is lit. Uh, and that will bring that in for us. Now, by default, npm assumes that this is a dependency rather than a dev dependency. So I'll come in here and we can scroll down. We can see we've got a new section in our package.json for dependencies. Now, my package needs this to run. Without this, it's not going to work. That's what it's saying. Whereas dev dependencies are for the development experience and environment. Um, they won't be needed to get the package to work but they're needed to write the package. Um, so say I was gonna write this in TypeScript, I would then come back here and do my npm install, but I wouldn't just leave the defaults. I need to say that this, this is only for development. Like people using the package don't need it. Um, so I can just do um, a minus D here and then say TypeScript, and that will put it into dev dependencies. So let's go back and look at package.json. There's now our existing dependencies for lit and then also dev dependencies, which is TypeScript. Um, all right, I'll create just a very simple file in here as well, just so we can see, just so we've got something there to be honest. Um, like so, I'm not even gonna do anything in it, we'll just do that so that it exists. Um, and we'll call it main.js. All right. Now, so so how does it how does this actually work now? You know, from a viewpoint of someone using my package and a viewpoint of another developer. Let's start with with someone using the package. So, like I just went to npm and installed lit. Someone is oh, we're hoping if it's a good package, someone will come and try and use this. Um, so let's put it onto npm. Uh, the moment it's called package, I'm going to put it into my scope and delete it afterwards, um, just because then it won't clash with anything. So we'll give it a name there, um, and that's all we need to all we need to do really to get it up to npm. I can then go npm publish. Uh, I need to set it to public like so, uh, and this will mean other people can pull it down and use this package. Right, so that's in. Uh, so if I now pretend that I am the user, so I'm a consumer of this, let's go into consumer here, um, do an npm in it to get our, our package.json. Uh, I'm gonna close off that original one just to keep it clear here and open up a new one as a consumer. 
So at the moment, my package.json has nothing in it, but I'm going to install the package we just published. So what would I do there? I would do an npm install and Mark James Howard um, package. So what's that going to install for us? Is that going to install TypeScript or just lit and our package? Well, if we go in now and look, we've got a new node modules. Within our package.json, we've got the one that I've just installed, the one we wrote a minute ago. And if I open up node modules, we'll see what it's installed. So it's installed our package and it's got that main.js file. Um, and it's installed lit and some types and, and dependencies of lit, but there's no TypeScript. Um, and that's because using this package, you don't need TypeScript. Um, and so there'd be no point to pull that down. So that's why the, those two sections are there. If you only had one dependency section, you wouldn't be able to specify ones that are only for developers. Um, so that keeps that, keeps that uh, running pretty more, more efficiently for a start. Uh, you're not wasting space and time pulling down TypeScript when you don't need it. So let's go um, let's go back into our package and add this now to uh, to GitHub, and we'll look at it from a developer's experience. So I'll add it in here. What did I call it? Just package. Yep, yeah. that's fine. So create that. Um, I'll grab this line here and come in here. So I can do a git init now. And then a git, oh, I need to, I need to create a dot git ignore while we're here and put node modules in there like so. so then I can do a git add and look, and we've got those just those files that we've added. That's cool. Um, do a git commit like so, and then the line that I copied, which adds our remote, and then I should just be able to push it up with a minus u origin master. Right, so that's got us into GitHub. And so if I create now a folder, let me clear that. If I create a folder as a developer, I want to, to um, enhance this project now. Let's create a, a develop folder. And then I want, if I did a git, so I say I pulled it from, from GitHub, git clone. I just need the URL for it there. And so that's gone into package. Right, so let's open that up in Visual Studio Code and see what we've got here. Now at the moment, there's no node modules, um, but I have got a package.json um, and it's the one that we created earlier. And so it's got dependencies and dev dependencies. Um, so now, if I clear that. So if I do an npm install now, it's going to pull not only lit in, but also TypeScript compared to the consumer version. Um, so if I come back in here now and we look in node modules, you can see TypeScript is here along with lit. Um, and our, this is our package that we're, we're not appearing in there, but we've got TypeScript and lit because we are developing this. Um, so based on so you know it's based on what's in your package.json so when i do npm install it's installing both dependencies and dev dependencies but as a consumer dev dependencies doesn't come down um, let's just show that again if i go back into um, the consumer one let's go up one more We open this up in code again. Um, so as a consumer, it will only install 
the dependency. So if I if I go into node module, if I go into um, uh, node modules here and and mark James Howard and package JSON, you know, even though this appears it won't actually get installed. It will only do those dependencies um, for those for those ones contained within. You know, the top at the top level, if I had dev dependencies, that would run. But on these ones lower down, it's not going to install those dev dependencies. Um, just just at that top top le top level, it will do everything. Um, so you know, if I'm in here and I do similar to when I was in the GitHub one, I do an, an npm install. It's still only going to get um, these, these top level packages we've got no TypeScript um, being added in um, so there you go that is dependencies and dev dependencies so it depends on who's using it uh, what gets pulled down I uh, hope that was interesting hope you enjoyed it uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye